Hi, my name is Jeremy Michelson, and I'm going to help Alan Joyce present the new text and natural language functionality in version 11. I don't think I have a lot of time, so I'm going to go pretty quick, but we'll leave behind the slides for you to study. In version 11, we have more ways of constructing strings, extracting from strings, and otherwise manipulating strings. We have new functions for analyzing and transforming text. We have data about languages and words. And we have ways for you to implement your own text parsing, including hooks into Wolfram Alpha's natural language parsing. Since version 10.0 was released, we've introduced new and enhanced string manipulation functions. And one of the favorites is string riffle as a way to take a list of strings and concatenate them using a common joiner. It also works with higher rank arrays, as you see here, and even different delimiters for the different depths. Insert line breaks can be used to reformat text. So here's the nicely reformatted text. Uh, string partition is a nice way to group text into clumps in the same way that partition does. And so uh, here we can see it um, grabbing the triples from a DNA string. And that works in exactly the same way that partition does. And then we have other functions like string parts to extract particular characters from a string, uh, string delete to delete from the substrings that match a pattern, and so on. You can see that our functions aren't restricted just to English. We also have data about characters themselves. So you can see character name being used here to give different kinds of information about Unicode code points. And palindrome Q is a fun function, uh, detecting palindromes. Um, and, and it works not just on strings, but also on integers. We also have new functions for finding the grammatical unit entity associated with a word and the definition of that word. And uh, moving on, um, we also have programmatic access to um, version 11's new spell correction dictionary. So the front end has spell correction, and that is now programmatically accessible. One source of text is book data. So here you can see an analysis of the books by Charles Dickens, for example. So we've got the um, word counts down here, which is kind of interesting. And um, all of the, it was the best of, worst of, and so on from A Tale of Two Cities. We can also partition the text into words and sentences as well as remove the so-called stop words, such as um, the and a uh, and other uninteresting words like that. So that's delete stop words here. Um, and there are other interesting functions, as you can see on the slide. We have historical data about how frequently words were used in uh, texts at the given time. So here's an interesting uh, date list plot of war and peace. We can also sub extract semantic content from text. For example, all the nouns. Uh, here are all the nouns in uh, George Washington's first State of the Union. And currency amounts, so all the quantities of that particular type, and so on. And there's also this cool um, grammatical structure capability. And the really neat thing about that is that these things hook straight into our graph functionality which allows continued computation with the structure that you get. Finally, we have uh, the ability to introduce our own context-free grammars. And these piggyback on top of the Wolfram Alpha parser. So for example, we can say that we're looking for a location 
uh, preceded by um, the word to, and a location preceded by the word from, and then that allows us to parse something like from New York to Chicago and get a nice geographic spec. Thank you.